After looking at the fundamentals of software testing, let us now look at the basic testing principles which have evolved over the past 40 years and can be used as general guidelines for all testing. The first principle states that testing can show that defects are present but cannot prove that there are no defects. Testing reduces the probability of residual defects which means defects remaining in the software. Even if no defects are found, it doesn't mean that system is 100% correct or defect-free. The second principle states and, as already discussed, testing everything that is all combinations of inputs and preconditions is not feasible except in trivial cases. We need to use risks and priorities to focus on testing efforts. The third principle states that errors identified late in the development process generally cost more to resolve, hence testing activities should start as early as possible in the SDLC and focus on defined objectives. The fourth principle of testing uses the Pareto principle. As per Pareto's principle or 80-20 to 20 rule, 80% of defects are caused by 20% of causes. Once these causes have been identified, efficient test managers will be able to focus testing on the sensitive areas, while still searching for errors in the remaining software modules. Let us look at the remaining three principles on the next slide.